Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ready, Set, Cheer on State Champs W. This has been just such an exciting week and we're heading into another exciting week. We have just completed regionals and I was just so grateful to be uh, to be able to witness one of the regions in D1, which I'll share about in just a moment here. But we're heading into state finals this coming weekend. And for many, they're either going to state finals or they've concluded their year. We have special guests today from Milford and Brighton. Um, but before we talk about that and before we introduce our guests, want to just give a little shout out and special thanks to all of our sponsors. We've had a great season of just being able to interview um, girls from Rochester, the Rochester Community Schools, as well as other coaches from different areas. Um, and BK from D Elite, who also became a sponsor of Ready, Set, Cheer. We're so excited to have the Milford Varsity Girls here. The Mavericks, their season came to a close this weekend, but we're so thrilled to talk to them and hear their story. Tell us your names and what year you are. Hi, I'm Jasmine. I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Grace. I'm also a senior. And I'm Lexi, and I'm also a senior. So nice to meet you, all three of you. You're from Milford High School. I'm just so happy for you about your season. You've done an amazing job of just um, making your team better and better. And I know it uh, might have been a sad weekend where you didn't make it through to state finals. It was 0.46 of a difference for you to make it. So I feel crushed for you. But at the same time, I want to celebrate your wins and celebrate what an amazing team you are. So would you would you also just share, first of all, what year you are and um, tell us about the season? So I'm Grace, I'm a senior. And just overall for the season, I think that coming off from being on state finals last year, I think we had such a goal for this season. And honestly, I think our team worked so hard to just, although we didn't achieve our goal, I think we should be very proud of ourselves just for all the work we've put in and what we did achieve this season. Absolutely. Going, um, I'm also a senior. Um, I agree with Grace. This season, we had a lot of expectations to bring back, to go back to the state mat and everything, but the work we put in was definitely way more work than we ever put in any season. And I think it wow. showed a lot this season too. Um, I'm Lexi and I'm also a senior. Um, I think one of our other goals was to get the three P of LVC champions, um, which we did accomplish. Yes, um, congratulations! Thank you. That's so, awesome. Yeah, it was just a lot of work. We changed our round one into more of like an east style instead of mm -hmm. west, and it did pay off for some comps, but others it could have gone better. But I think it was yeah. definitely something new and. It was definitely a challenging round yes, one. It was something it was. that we it was are different for Milford. Very yeah. different from Milford. Different. Not what in what way was it different? It was more like Carlson. It was yes. it had very much Carlson vibes. It was fast, more fast paced, more like up and down. Yeah. I think it was a lot more fluid motions too, as is typically we're used to those sharp motions as our coach always says, like hitting our dots. Yes. Um I think this routine had yeah. a lot more motions in it as mm -hmm. well. Yes. Oh how interesting. Well, say a little bit more about your season and um, that hard work you've put in. What what has it really taken to get from good to great, which I know is something that you're working on achieving? So one thing that, well, two things, two things I can think of, but what we've been saying this year, this past season, these past few weeks even, is that this team has the skill. We have the girls that can tumble. We have these strong athletes. We have great stunts. We have we have the skill. But what we've been plugging in the past few weeks is this passion piece, plugging in the smiles, plugging in locking eyes with the judges, that energy and uh, almost our whys for cheer too is just why are you doing this? Why are we here? Why do you want this? So I think that's one thing is plugging in our passion piece because although we do have that skill, that's something that we've been working on these past few weeks. Yeah. And what it like, I think another thing our team focused on a lot is our discipline. And every day is a new day to do something better, to be better than yesterday, to be better than the week before, and to try to be better the next day even. Our team focuses on that a lot, which makes us change. Yeah, I know our team is really chit-chatty. Yes. So the, <laughs> it's the, hard the, when you're friends and you, you yeah. like each other. Yes. But yes. yeah, say more about how you work with that and being too chatty or how do you how do you deal with that? Okay, so like at the beginning of the year, after every rep, it was 
like constantly talking about something, whether it was cheer or outside of cheer. And mm-hmm. this year, it was like, especially towards the end, it was just, you have to focus. Like once you hit a rep, you stop talking, let the coaches talk and then do it again. Like just, it's constant work. Like you have to get your corrections, take your corrections. Yeah, you have to have that champion mindset. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that takes a lot of discipline. And I loved that, Grace, you mentioned the passion and just why you're here. Because we can, you know, we can focus on the competition. We can focus on getting our skills better. But if you really forget about why why this is fun or why you love it or why you're even here, it loses its heart. It loses its energy. It just gets deflated. 100%. So, yeah, that's, yeah it's really exciting to see. And I, I've seen the heart in Milford grow and grow. So that's so exciting. No, it makes a so, huge difference. What's that? It makes a huge difference, the passion throughout the rounds. Yes, it yeah. just brings it to a whole different level. Yes. yes. It makes doing the rounds easier. It makes your endurance yeah. higher and making it, being able to hit motions easier when you have that why and why you're doing it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So what has your favorite part of the season been? Uh-huh. Who wants to go first? My favorite part, my favorite part personally, was getting our three P in LVC champs. We worked so hard, and the um, South Lion and South Lion East are both very, very good teams on the same level as us, and we're all super close with our style and our techniques and the way we do things. So, the LVC competitions all didn't pan out the way we wanted to, but in the end, we got what we wanted and worked for. I what was say, the feeling like to, to have that win or to know that you worked for this and you got it? Amazing. It, it it's really does feel great. Yeah. You can't compare it to anything else. Yeah. yeah. It's just knowing that that hard work pays off is what made that feel so good. Uh, yeah. For me, my favorite moments honestly would just be when you just feel, I'll try and do something different. It's almost just a feeling, uh, not always at competitions, but even sometimes during practice too, but for me, I'm in round three. So when you walk off the mat at a competition or after a full out at practice and you know you hit, you know you did good, just that feeling with your teammates where you're able to run off the mat, give them hugs, and, you know, just be happy in the moment after, you know, knowing that your work paid off is, I would say, one of my favorite things about this season. Um, my favorite part of the season, I wouldn't even say it is the comps. I would say practices. They're very hard and it, it gives you like a schedule. Like you have mm-hmm. that stuff doing every single day, like every single day, you're f- focusing on these three rounds and you're pushing yourself to be a better athlete. And so yes, the competitions are, you're, you're getting rewarded for doing those things at practice, but really the practice piece is the most important part of this whole season to me. I love that you mentioned that because practice can be so fun. I mean, it can yeah. be brutally hard and just exhausting, but there's really nothing like doing this fun thing and growing every day with the people that you enjoy, or at least, you know, you can come find some common ground with and doing this thing and getting better and better every day and just seeing that difference at practice and goofing around sometimes or making a joke here or there, (laughs) helping each other. I mean, you're with your, like, you have like a sister bond with all of your teammates. So it's like, you get to see them every day and it like your bond with the other people get bigger and your coaches mm-hmm. like i think of our coaches as my second mom and yeah. like mm-hmm. they would do anything for us and so would the girls on the team yeah so. no practice definitely having those times where you are able to joke around or goof off and like that's what really helps strengthen the bond i mean some of these girls i've known for four years and then other girls i'm just meeting this past year uh, we do have a great set of freshmen on our team and they're all super nice. I uh, love all of them, but just having those times where you're able to, you know, hang out with each other or have those moments, it really helps the team bond. We have a great set of parents as well that help us with all those. They give us a lot of activities and very nice gifts as well that mm-hmm. help create those moments. That's really nice. You have all that support. Yes. So you're going to be alumni soon. Yeah. <laughs> and tell us about how the alumni are plugged in or are they in the Milford team? Our they, alumni support us team. at every, yeah. every almost every competition. There's at least one or two of them. They're, we're all a super close knit of people even after you yeah. graduate. 
We still stay in communication with our alumni and half our most of our alumni are siblings to people that are on, have been on the team mm -hmm. or previously have been on the team. And so that just also keeps them in connect. I mean, our coaches are alumni too. Like our yeah. JV coach as well as um, alumni. Them. Yeah, both of them. Both so. of them are alumni, siblings to uh, current teammates. And yeah, I think uh, we always say once a Mav, always a Mav. And I think that's definitely something that stays true with this. And I also think that the alumni now, the Milford, our past Milford alumni have worked so hard to help us get to the point where we are today, you know, climbing it out of districts just a few years ago to now where we've made it to that state mat. I think our alumni play a very important, important role in that. 100%. Yeah, I know my sophomore year, it was, we had so many alumni or seniors yeah, that, that year. That was the first year we got 778 and made it out of district, so. Well, that video they made last year for states was really nice. Yeah. Our alumni, we're super close with every single year of them, and they definitely all feel for us and where we've been and how much work we've put through, and they're all super proud of us, too. Yeah. What wisdom do you have for the younger girls that are still on the team or coming up? I would just say that everyone says it, but take it in. It goes by so fast. Every competition, take every award ceremony in everything, don't take anything for granted, don't take any practice for granted, or even any game. How do you keep your mindset in a good place? I mean, we all know as a student athlete, the amount of time that you commit to your sport, it's it's a lot. So when you're handling that in school, sometimes even work, or you have other family stuff going at home, like, you know, there's always these outside situations. And I think that with that mindset, like the champion mindset that we uh, have brought up to one thing is we have always said um, one thing that we say is leave it at home although we are here for each other if you need anything you can always come to your teammates but one thing we have said is leave it at home and that knowing that this gym the place that we practice in it's a place to set aside whatever outside things you have going on good or bad and it's a place to focus on the task at hand you know and just kind of give that opportunity to not stress not worry yeah, it's a mental reset. Like our gym is like you go in, you have to focus on what you're doing and when you're doing it. Like you can't just go in and say, "Oh my gosh, there's this, this, and this happening at home and in school and at work and everything like that." You have to go in and focus on being the athlete that you want to be and the person you're committed to your team. Like you're you're committed, so you have to have that positivity, like we were saying, and just like mm -hmm. leave it. Just saying, leave it at home, like. And like the two and a half to three hours, four hours that you're in that gym is to focus on what you're doing there and why you're there. And with your mindset, if you come in with a bad mindset, it'll wear off and go on to other people. And so if you come in with a positive mindset, ready to go, ready to work, it that will wear off onto the other people that aren't as ready to go or ready to work. But the more you are, the more your whole team will be. So the more you can get your whole team there. Oh, Absolutely. Coach. Coach Patty and Sam and everyone has really been saying like you there's five positive people in a room and that sixth person will be positive if there's five negative people in a room that sixth person will be negative so it's just how your positivity or negativity spreads it it's really important that is something that I have truly like held thought about yeah, yeah held, held on to that yeah. this past this past season like your surroundings matter so much and so that's something that really does come into play. Also, mm -hmm. you have can't think too much into the future or think too much into the past. You have to focus on the now and the today and what you're doing today that can make your tomorrow better or yesterday um, better than you are today. Absolutely. These tips are good for any part of life, but yeah. we're learning them in cheer, and I think that's so wonderful you're sharing them today. How, how do you support yourselves or each other through a loss. I mean, I, I definitely want to celebrate all your wins and can continue to do that, right? And I know also there are other teams listening into this conversation that also walked away from regionals, not going forward to states. Um, so I'd love to hear you talk about how you're experiencing the aftermath of regionals and where you're at. We just had to keep our heads and chins up, keep our shoulders held back, know that Maybe that point four could have came from it could have came from any round. Like yeah, 
it, it could have been a pointed toe. It could have been a wobble in round three. Like, and that stick jump. Or yeah. That stick skill. Yeah. Just and one, one person with the one off thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think okay. you just had to keep your head up and shoulders back and go into the next week or the next season thinking, okay, yes, we could have done this better, but now we have to. Like, you, use that as motivation. I think for. Better. Yeah, sorry. I think for me, too, is I walked off that mat. I um, did have a mess up in round three, and I was really frustrated with myself about it. But then what I was thinking these past 24, 48 hours is that, you know, I was kind of thinking, you know, it was at 0.46. So, like Lexi was mentioning, Mm -hmm. that that pointed toe, that stick jump, you know, maybe if you didn't move a little bit in your talk, those all add up. So it's, you know, that small stuff matters. And unfortunately, it's stuff that we don't usually do in our rounds for some of the stuff that we did. Uh, on Saturday. So it was definitely frustrating. But to be honest, I am so proud of our team for just what we have. Um, like I said, I'm in round three. So that's my my round that I focus on the most. But like, mm-hmm. we had round three of the season, which I think is great. And I think we all I think that was the best passion we had ever put out, out on the mat this season. And I think that I think that shows and although we didn't get to states i think we did put our all our all out there and i'm very proud of them you have to focus on you and your team you can't pinpoint people or blame it on somebody or blame it on even a certain round or a Mm -hmm. certain skill or a certain job you you know you know as a team you can feel it when you walk off that mat and you know if you put your all out there or not and our team definitely did for every single round put our all out there but we were up against one of like the great the best teams because they all made it to states yeah. we were up against some pretty really good teams that just had a slightly better jump than we did or a slightly better tuck than we did that just made mm-hmm. it out we were mm-hmm. so close and but, what's the what were the thing we were talking about you know this earlier today and jasmine mentioned you were saying how like there's such good we all are such great teams you know justin did great we yes. did great Heartland, Brighton, Granville, South Lines, like, like, yeah, like Orient as well. We all did great. It's just, unfortunately, only four can get out there. Yeah. Yeah. You can't take the fifth team just because yeah. they were that close to them. <laughs> or, right. Even if a tenth off, like, it yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, they were better. So, yeah, and then our coaches have always been saying, like, every single comp, leave, don't leave the mat with regrets. Yes. Like, put your all, put that passion out there. Like, you just have to put your all out there. Leave no regrets. Don't say, like, enough sun. Say, oh, I wish I could have squeezed that foot more. Don't say, yeah. I, wish I didn't take a step. Like, you can't have that. Like, you have to push for everything. Our team definitely walked off um, Saturday knowing that we did put one of our best three rounds out yeah. there. We tried our hardest, and so did everybody else. So it just came down to that point four six yeah. that made the difference. Absolutely. Yeah. Very bittersweet moment, you know. It, it sucks, totally. but at the same time, you're very proud, and you know that, you know, it could you have know been you anyone's day. Yeah, it yeah. could have been anyone's day. Yeah, yeah. I think after I, round one and two were done, I think we were in seventh place. We yeah, we got so, back down to seventh. Yeah, and then after wow. Round three, Wow, and your round three really brought you up. Congratulations yeah. on that. That is just fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, that's got to feel amazing to know that you really just put your all out there and you've you've grown so much in round three and in all the areas, but like your round three, I can't yeah. wait to take a look at the video, the recap. Yeah, so what are your future plans? Future plans? Um, I plan to continue my cheer journey at um, Central Michigan University and then major in secondary education. So that's, that's exciting. Exciting. Uh, for me, I will be heading out west to Grand Canyon University. I am going to be majoring in a bio major with a focus in pre-dental. Ideally, I'd like to be an orthodontist. Don't know if I'll do all that schooling, but wow. that's what I plan on doing. And then for cheer, um, I don't really know if I plan on cheering there or not. Uh, undecided, but they do have mm-hmm. like a club team that they do compete with, so I thought about that as well, but not committed or sure yet about that. Yeah, and then I committed yeah. to Kelly and their cheer team, and I plan on majoring in exercise science and become a physical therapist or athletic trainer of some sort. 
So. Oh, wonderful. I'm so excited for what, what life is going to bring you. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. I barely know you, but I'm just so proud of you. And I love seeing you yeah. out there. Thank and so um, just best wishes to you as you continue and best wishes to your team as well as you become alumni and the new girls come up. All right. We're so excited to have Brighton Cheerleaders here today to talk to. Uh, would you please share with us your name and your year? I'm Jordan Carrington, and this is my senior year at Brighton High School. Um, I'm Stella Marcasati, and I'm also a senior at Brighton. Oh, fabulous. Great to have you both. So how is your season going? Um, it's going really good for us. I think we're at the point in the season where everyone's just pushing their hardest and everyone wants the same goal. Our team is really for, excited for states this year, so I think it's going really well. We're just finishing up the final touches to get us to that win. So. Yes, congratulations on your regionals win. I'm so, so thrilled for you. And I've just heard that you are um, continually increasing the scores in each round for each, each of your rounds. You're hitting your peak oh, yeah. every week, it sounds like. Tell us more about that. Um, so yeah, we just got our um, highest round three score of the year and we actually um, just broke the school record. So that was super exciting for us. And then we got the highest round two score in the whole state um, at regionals this weekend, which was beyond exciting. At wow. practice, we really focus really hard on like the little things to get us higher and higher each week. So we're really proud of where we've come so far. That is fantastic. So what are some of those little things you're focusing on this week as you're gearing up towards state finals? Honestly, like each pointed toe, each smile, like each word that you give a little extra on, those are all the little things that matter now in our season. Like we always talk about how loud we have to yell like in the beginning mm -hmm. of the year, but now, now that we're getting like way closer to our end goal, which is state champions, obviously. Everyone is like putting the passion behind the words now and we're really just feeling it. Like everyone is doing every little detail just a hundred times better than they were before, which is super important to us. Yeah, that gives me chills, yeah. like putting the passion into all the words you're saying in the cheers. Oh yeah, it's, it's just, it gives me chills even when I'm on the mat and I can hear the girls next to me like yelling as hard as they can. Like it gives me chills to see how bad that everyone on, how bad everyone on the mat wants it. Yeah. You just like feed off of each other. Now, are there certain set of um, lines in your cheer that are your favorite? Oh, my favorite is definitely place your bets. We oh, say it in just about every round, I think, and it's definitely one of my favorites. It represents a lot of what, we, what we're holding true to our hearts this year, so it's definitely one of my favorite lines. Nice. Place oh, yeah. your bets. Place your bets. Place, place it on us. My, my favorite um, yeah. line is a brand new name at the top, which is at like, the end of our round three. It's like right before our pyramid. So that's the line where everyone is like, absolutely belting it and it's just such a cool experience for us oh that's so exciting now as you've started the competitive season have there been a lot of changes in your cheers or have they remained mostly the same tell us about how the season has gone for you up till now oh man i think we make a change every week at least every week every day yeah every something might. yeah a couple things a week Mm -hmm. Try to keep up with what the judges are looking for and what the crowd is looking for. Just keep everyone really excited to watch us. I think changes are very important for that reason. So lots of changes for sure. Keep it fresh. Especially like coming back. Yeah, having some of the same judges over the season has mm -hmm. been like really important to us because those judges look at each little detail every single time. They expect you to get better every time you see them. So for us, it's been just like narrowing everything down to the tiny detail. We've been fixing every single tiny detail because we know that we're gonna see those some of those same judges throughout the season. Mm -hmm. Now, my guess is that um, you're fabulous leaders. So how have you grown as a leader in this sport over time, your seniors? Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, the question. this sport is definitely, <laughs> Yeah, this sport has definitely taught me a lot about how to put my team first, even when I'm having my own personal battles. I think it's really important to leave all of your problems at the door. 
and really think about the girls that you have been practicing with for like almost 11 months. It's really um, difficult sometimes to do, but in the end it's worth it because you've built such a close bond with each other that you're able to like feed off of each other. It counts on the mat, just everything blends together when it's time to perform and put your best out there. So. Um, yeah, I would say pretty much the same for myself. Um, cheerleading has really taught me, like has brought out the leader in me and has really taught me mm. to, um, like to be really accountable for my teammates to do the best that I can so that they can do the best that they can. And honestly, I've always been the type of person to keep the energy up. That's like, that's my mojo is to always keep people in a good mood and having a good mood at practice will really just it keeps everyone, obviously keeps everyone happy and it makes it more fun for us. So when we can go out there and compete it um, in a good mood, it really just pays off in the end. Now I've just watched your team get better and better and better and better. It's so exciting. And not just like in this year, but over, over the years. And how has that, how have you, what have you done with in yourselves and in, on your teams to grow this program to where it is now? Like, how do you get from good to great to greater to greater? I will say we've definitely focused a lot on past championship teams and what they focused on when they were winning their titles and what they held true to their hearts and how much they practiced outside of cheer. Even so, that makes it just so much easier to like build skills. And if you put in the extra work outside, then it's a lot easier to reach your goals and become an even greater team. So we focused a lot on that this year. Yeah. Um, right. I would say something for uh, me is that um, we focus on like not only what other teams have done, but what our team has accomplished in the past. We really use like previous years as fuel going forward. Like we finished at fourth, um, fourth at states last year, and we're only using that for um, more fuel this year. We we know we can do better than that. That was amazing for us, but our team is capable of so much more. Like we're just using that from last year. Yeah, just building upon that foundation and the, okay. every step you take. So exciting, girls. Mm -hmm. um, I yep. have one more question for you. What advice do you have for your younger self when you first started cheer? And also, when was that? When did you first start cheer? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Um, I started cheer when I was nine years old, but I officially Whoa. started Brighton cheerleading. Yes, I officially started Brighton cheerleading my freshman year, and I came in during competitive season. And if I could tell that girl anything, I would tell her to keep going and to work harder and basically to put your all in everything and try to outdo yourself before outdoing anybody else because mm -hmm. I am my biggest obstacle. And I think that it's important for a lot of younger girls to know that early on because it'll help you succeed in the long run. Mm, that's so wise and that's really what makes you feel good that you're you're growing in yourself that's the satisfaction yeah um yeah so i started cheer when i was i want to say about 12 i came from gymnastics so that was definitely a switch um so if i could tell my younger self a piece of advice i would just say that you're capable of so much more than you think you are because when I came into uh, varsity cheerleading my freshman year of high school, I did not think that I was gonna make it, but I like reminding myself that I'm capable of so much more than I think I am. Mm -hmm. It has helped me push all four years of high school cheer and I couldn't be more thankful that I stuck it out. Oh, I'm so glad you did. That's really wise Thanks and really good advice too. for anybody in anything. Oh, what oh was gosh, that? Yeah. It has been the most influential thing on my life ever. Like cheerleading is so important to me. I don't know what I would do without it. What are you going to do next year? I plan to cheer in college, um, hopefully yeah. at MSU. That's one of my top choices right now. Um, if that doesn't work out, I don't know what the plan is, but I just really hope that I can cheer somewhere. Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah, Good I luck. Plan to cheer. 
Thank you, you played it here also? <laughs> yes, at Eastern Michigan University and hopefully coach um, during my time at college. I'm really excited to start my coaching journey and I continue to cheer too. So I'm really excited for that. Oh, wonderful. Well, I hope to see more of you girls out there beyond this weekend, but I'm thrilled to see you this weekend. I'm cheering you on. I'm so excited. Is there anything else you want to say as we head into this weekend? Uh, go dogs. Yeah. Go dogs. <laughs> go dogs. I'm so excited. That's all I got. Well, that was super fun to have the Milford girls and the Brighton girls on the show. I'm just so proud of all of those ladies. They're just doing phenomenally. Brighton, I just um, send you my best wishes and all the fire. So excited to see you out there at the um, state finals at CMU. If you're wanting to come out and see these ladies perform, check them out at Central Michigan. Um, you can see the schedule on the MHSAA website. Um, it's just going to be a fantastic weekend. Everyone's going to be there. Everyone's going to bring their fire. Wishing all the teams that are at any of the divisions coming to state finals the best. Thanks so much for listening in to Ready, Set, Cheer. See you next week. Ready, Set, Cheer is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Be curious, make magic. Ready, Set, Cheer is also brought to you by the Michigan High School Athletic Association promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan Army National Guard, proud partner of the MHSAA. And the Detroit Athletic Club Foundation Athlete of the Year Award. Applications now being accepted until March 31st, 2024 for the Male and Female Athlete of the Year. Download the application today at dacathleteoftheyear.com. D-Elite Cheerleading, inspiring athletes to win the day, every day.